Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. All right, we're starting things off today by talking about letting go of love. So often we find ourselves stuck on the past and just not able to move on. So there is no better time than today to just let go. Clinical psychologist Dr. Stephen Ragusia has advice and tips on how we can do it. Dr. Ragusia, thank you for being back today. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I, can you tell that I like this topic? <laughs> yeah, I can. You're pretty excited about I'm it. I'm very excited about it because, <clears throat> Dr. Ragusia, I feel like so many of us, myself included, sometimes we just can't let go of the past. Why in the world is this? Well, uh, you can look at it theoretically from a number of different perspectives. One of them is that when we get into a relationship with somebody, we invest in that person and in that relationship. Uh, Freud used to call it cathecting energy. We put energy into other people and, and things that we develop relationships with. So <clears throat> when things don't go well, it's hard to take that energy back out again. You know, when you're walking down the street and you see somebody that happens to be walking the other way, you may say hi or just give them a smile or ignore them totally, and you have no relationship with them. <clears throat> but if what happens is, is they smile at you, you smile at them, you start talking, go have coffee, then you start thinking about, I wonder if I'm going to date this person. Mm -hmm. And then after the first date, you start saying, geez, maybe this is the guy, maybe. And then what you start doing is you start having fantasies in a big way. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we have fantasies all the time. But then you start having big fantasies about growing old together and having children together and dying in one another's arms and going on this vacation and that vacation and building a business and, and establishing your own TV studio and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. And uh, you wind up developing a relationship in your mind that may or may not have any basis in reality. Mm -hmm. But once you've got all those plans developed inside yourself, you have cathected or put energy into that other person and that relationship to a very high degree. <clears throat> and then if things don't go well, you don't want to give it up. Mm -hmm. And then you wind up saying, I don't want to say goodbye to this relationship. So how can we move on, though, peacefully and let go of that fantasy that we made up in our mind? Well, one of the things is to keep things as real as possible. Um, uh, uh, you know, we all, what we, what we all do to more or less of an extent, particularly when we fall in love, <coughs> is we become blind. You know, love is blind, that's what people say. There's also, there's also a complementary opposite, and that is that people who love one another, know one another better than anybody else in the world. So on one hand, we've got knowledge that we wouldn't otherwise have. And in some other ways, what happens is we develop blind spots. Okay? <laughs> Women in particular <laughs> are famous for um, uh, establishing relationships with men that they see as unique fixer-upper opportunities. Um, you know, guys will fall in love with a car that they want to fix up. Guys will fall in love with a house they want to fix up. Mm -hmm. Women fall in love with a guy they want to fix up. Mm -hmm. and, and so what they do is they keep imagining a guy as they want him to be and not how he really is. So one of the things that I encourage women to do in those situations is to take a real hard look at the relationship and, and see what's genuine about it as opposed to what is based on fantasy. Mm -hmm. And that's one way to make a separation out of a bad relationship, mm -hmm. is to finally realize that it really isn't the relationship you thought it was. It's a whole different relationship. Mm -hmm. And I love that. We're actually going to take a break right now, but when we get back from these messages, we're going to talk a little bit more about those fantasies, because I think so often that's something we all do, is we make the person into our own little fantasy. Stay with us. There's much more to come this morning.